Now Lamar Stevens, there is that matchup with Hall, spins his way in on the freshman and gets the roll off glass. Yeah, big time take by a big time player in this league. Xavier Tillman cut off a really tough shooting game against Wisconsin. Hall left open and he'll take it. Game against Wisconsin. You get the feeling that he could be a game changer for Michigan State just because of the fact that he can really score the ball and what a good sign to see Aaron Henry playing confidently on the offensive end, the step back jumper. Jamari Wheeler. Myron Jones drains the three. First field goal for Myron Jones. Winston getting a quality look from the wing, and it looked like Marcus Bingham was going to have that rebound. Penn State scrappy, keeping it alive. And now you give yourselves a chance to get Lamar Stevens going again. Push the tempo and play to their pace. And you have to think that that probably favors Michigan State, but Penn State can hang right there. And Myron Jones, you see why Tom Izzo was so concerned. There's Miles Dredd. And the rebound to Watkins, the offensive board. Now Myron Jones. He is red hot. Myron Jones already with nine. Now by Winston to save it. Nice pass inside, and Marvel hits the left. Jones. Here's Stevens for three. Three point back. Is his conditioning. The shot clock here under five. Penn State's got to get one up here. Stevens over Tillman. Boy, wow. wow. Defense right there. Xavier Tillman. 7 0 run for Penn State. Five point lead is their biggest of the game. Alley oh. Watkins oh. throws it down. And now a 9 0 run for the Nittany Lions and a near turnover. And it is a turnover. Rockington. Here's Jones in transition. Got it. By Tillman. Now five to shoot. I don't know if Penn State knows it. Now Myron Jones knew it, and he hits it. Myron Jones. Numbers if they hurry for the Spartans. Knocked away though, Stevens. Make it up for it on the defensive end. Curtis Jones, no, Watkins back up and in, and he'll go to the stripe. And now Tillman turns it over, so another Michigan State turnover, Watkins on the run. And now he can catch it, go right up with it, and score the basketball. Eight points now for Watkins, lead back out to 10. Winston cuts it to eight. This doesn't go, Winston will come the other way. Spartans on the run. Oh, Dave Brown should run to the three-point line. Tillman! Maybe not. Watkins. Now Stevens, through the lane, had it blocked away by Tillman. Now off the turnover, alley-oop, knocked away, and Penn State comes out of there with it. There's some athletes on both ends right here. This is a big-time Big Ten basketball game, and the defense of Penn State getting it done. I think a breakdown in communication there. Michigan State wants to switch it. They don't get it. Myron Jones gets right to the rim. And then Bingham, the big-time follow. Stevens. Aaron Jones had the great first half, and he wow. banks one in. First points of the second half, now 17 in the game. Byron Jones, got it! That was maybe accidental, but it ends up in the right man's hand. It ends up in the hands of Myron Jones, and you know exactly what he's doing with it. Oh. Alley-oop on the other end, Brown. Winston for three. Good. Winston trapped. Over to Hall, kicks it to Arms, who is checked in. And Arms hits the three. It's the three ball, seventh lead change of the game. Stevens. Wow. That's high level stuff right there. There's Winston, elevating. Oh! Off balance three from Cassius Winston. Make plays and you hang in there with Michigan State. They're going to be a tough outcome march. Stevens gets the roll. And again, going at Malik Hall, a physical, tough post up. Winston. Now Wheeler on him. Winston. Just like you said, navigates through. And he draws the foul. Michigan State, this is no time to put your head down. Wow, I'm Missed the free throw. 
And the rebound of the Nittany Lion, fifth seed, according to Mike DeCourcy, coming into today. This will move him up a seed line or two, Robbie. Absolutely, and honestly, credit Penn State's athletic administration. Honestly, credit Penn State's athletic administration because yep. there was a lot of people that said Pat Chambers should no longer be our head basketball coach. I would say they are wrong.